Hello, I was part of our trip to Las Vegas. We went to the next generation television booth where we learned a ton about the ATSC 3.0 or the next generation television where IP controls the network and you can combine web components with TV, videos and more. Watch next. We're at the booth that it says Next Gen TV, where um, we have the Sinclair Broadcasting Group. Next Gen TV. How are you? Hello. You okay to scan your badge? Sure. If that, if we see. Hello. And you're welcome to listen in to a quick demo right here. Oh, sure. Perfect. All right. That's great to see you again. Take care. Any other questions that I can answer for you? Well, just curious. Hey, hello. Basics. I moved to San Antonio first. Okay. And we just saw that you guys have targeted our market. Oh, yes. So I'm just like... What's it going to be all about? Yeah. So anytime we're talking about the sports aspect of it, as per Public safety at the signage. Okay. So how do you do our insertion with ATSC 3.0? It says over there. Add insertion. Yeah. We do the the dynamic insertion on the client side in ATSC 2.0. For example, like uh this is a receiver, I assume, right? Yeah, so what, what we have here uh, set up for the demonstration uh -huh. is actually our ability to do ATSC 3.0 inside ATSC 1.0. Okay, how do you do that? So that's our patent pending innovation technology. Okay. We're demonstrating here that you don't really have to have a whole new ATSC 3.0 tower to test ATSC 3. You can use your existing 1.0 tower but still have ATSC 3 daughter services ingested into the one daughter signal. How? Oh. I mean, I got Because of that, the broadcasters are going to save a ton of time, resources, money, effort. Why do they need to buy from you? What's the device that you sell to them? Uh, we, we sell a service called uh, uh, Next Gen Broadcast as a service where we ingest the Next Gen TV services into ATSC 1 daughter signals. Okay. Uh, and then, on the consumer side, we need to have a, a mechanism to have the guy on middleware uh, at the end. So essentially, at this year show, uh, one one interesting innovation is this one, what we are doing at the broadcast end. Right. The other is this hybrid receiver, uh, modularly designed to work with dual tuners. So this receiver is both OTT and OTA receiver, as well as okay. ATSC 1.0 and 3.0 receiver. Okay. So with this 1.0 tuner, you're getting a 1.0 signal, uh, but with the middleware in here, you're also understanding the hybrid 3.0 and 1.0 signal, and when you really have a 3.0 tower working, all you have to do is swap the 1.0 tuner with the 3.0 tuner, and you're good to go. So, so this receiver is all you need from now to the end. This guy. This is, why you, this is your patent pending technology. Yeah. The patent pending is more on the broadcaster side, where you're trying to ingest uh, ATS and 3.0 services into an ATS 1.0 just to to uh, to tell the audience here like uh we're on tech tv uh, okay is it is it live no okay. it's uh, going to youtube i need to edit it okay. i'm gonna cut a lot of stuff okay. but let's, let's what's your name uh, chandra chandra Mali. yeah hey chandra so you're the ceo of this company or uh, what are you i lead the product management efforts here as vp of product management no, no, no. and t t tell us what is atsc 3.0 right now uh, so atsc 3.0 is, is like stages of uh, getting uh, market adoption in 2020. So okay. as you can see there, uh, 61 markets are going to get uh, ATSC 3.0 or the In the United States. And then about 20 different receivers are going to be uh, in the market in 2020. So what is, what is exactly the difference between ATSC 3.0 and current television headsets? Uh, there's a lot. Uh, this is what we have 
Sony. Samsung. Has but in yeah. simple terms, like in simple terms, is it like I, is that like relation to the internet? It's like kind of like putting the internet on the air, basically. Is that what it is? Uh, it's, it's like a exactly IP internet. base it, it, over the it air. Is, it is IP backbone based. Uh, it gives you a lot of. Uh, you have the ability to really have compressed uh, audio, compressed signals that uh -huh. have more bandwidth to pack in more okay. services. Uh, you have a lot of interactivity. You have 4K HDR, immersive Dolby AC4 into the uh, signal. Okay. And then uh, uh, what we are trying to do here is, uh, you know, solve the. So if you're, you're trying to solve the gap between, let's say, Correct. from a third world country, and I, I just upgrade to AT&T like 2.0. Yeah, AT&T 2.0 is not really active. Right. 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 Yeah. But like so you saw in Latin America, they like they call it the HD. They move everything to HD, uh, and they correct. put a name to it. But they already spend the money, I guess. So your solution comes to bring the value that AT&T 3.0 brings today. To the 61 market, to those who have, like you said here, an antenna that is uh, ATAC 1.0. Correct. So you make it next gen with your box. Correct. 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 All in right. Way, in a way, we are correct. So we are making next gen TV a reality now because we, we have lit up the towers in some of the uh, with some of the broadcasters. So what would be the difference between like a, 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 a TV signal that I receive in ATAC 3.0? As opposed to what I will receive today, it just basically today I just uh, tune my TV and HD whatever channel NBC CBS and I watch something like that. Okay. What is ATAC 3.0 that does that is different? Uh, the, the, one of the uh, you know the uh, crown jewels of CO2 is the ability to do interactivity and broadcast maps. Right. So you get to use uh, some of the uh, advantages right now in one or two. So okay. You don't have to wait, uh, wait all the way till uh, three dot is live. No, no, that's 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 fine. But like, okay. what is what is that what is that advantage? I still I'm not uh, have so, a concrete so answer. Interacting with TV, that's that's a big thing. Okay, right so now, I can I can I can tell the TV uh, move forward on that movie. Yeah, that's that's so that's a basic one. You can also ask the TV uh, how does the player one uh, do against player two. Might Got it. Apple, you know, of, uh, but uh, isn't that what 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 the solution for an IBM is? It's just basically like an offload of that content over 5G. Is what they were saying, or the? This is a different use case. Uh, that, that's uh, that's uh, uh, you know, the content load sharing. Okay. This is uh, ability to have interactive TV. So. If if you understand, uh, for a long time, TV has been a lean backward experience. Like yeah, more well, broadcast. TV going on, yeah. more broadcast. Yeah. All the engagement is happening on the social media. Right. Uh, with, with the broadcast, uh, can, uh, with the 3.0, you can bring back a whole lot of interactivity. So what you're saying is that with the 3.0, I combine what's the web Correct. today in the, with the TV signal in one signal that I receive in my house and I can interact with Twitter, I can see the Twitter feeds, I can yeah, see the Facebook feed, I see if somebody thing. liked it or somebody like, okay, look, that guy tackled the, the soccer player and broke his leg, let's see what everybody's saying. And kind of see like on the side, absolutely, absolutely. you know, F you, Messi is the best player in the world, or whatever, you know, whatever yeah. I'm watching. And, and this is just tip of the iceberg, the wide variety of services that can be offered on the interactive layer are practically accomplished. It's, it's, it's basically you're merging the web with TV yeah, it's, it's in uh, over the air. Correct. Correct. That's what it is. HTML5, application layer, everything okay. that play on the broadcast. Got it. And then you provide the HTML5 raw overlay with your box today with ATSC 1.0. Yes, we also provide an application framework so that you don't have to do the heavy weight lifting of you know, building the whole app by yourself. You right. have designer tools to make this app development so very easy. So let's say, for example, if I have my show, Take a TV, and then broadcast that on channel 50, HD, whatever, and I want my Twitter feed when I'm broadcasting, I can just, you give me the tools and you're like, okay, do this, do that, just like a WordPress site sort of, and like uh, plug and play. Correct. And then, yeah. and then when, when, my, when my viewers go into my channel and tune in, they see me, oh yeah, hey, uh, Chandra, what's going on? And then they will see like, no man, ATAC 3.0 is this. No, 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 I disagree. AT, oh, you're, you're, you're made a mistake. You said ATAC 2.0, that's bullshit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's, you can, you can have and then you can see all this, the overlay, let's say like this, 
overlay on top of my signal. Yeah, correct. Okay. So this is more of the data platform that we're offering. So what's your data platform that you're offering? Is this more like for the back end? For the uh, this is for the, for the broadcasters. Okay. We will now be bombarded with a lot of data when the next TV goes live. So we're offering this uh, as, as a tool for the broadcasters to be able to make uh, meaningful insights and uh, Leverage this for for the benefit of the oh. next gen TV when they go live, or okay. when the next gen TV. Goes. And this and is this data is, signage. Uh, this is uh, over the air signage, digital signage. So it's not internet connected. It's, it's a three dot of digital signage. ADS a three dot. So this is this is like let's say like uh, McDonald just released a new a new coupon. Let's say right. for example, it's on their website, and then it's just gonna pop over here. Yeah. Basically, yeah. and I will still see my show whenever I want, right. and they will be like, "Hey, it's a twenty-five percent off today. Right. I really want a big pack," and you go and get it. Correct. Got it. And then this does it have any like upload anything? It's just like a standard box that is just broadcast. I don't need a set of box. Did you come on the signal? Got gotcha. you. Amazing. 